FIA race director Michael Massey was the main culprit in one of the most controversial conclusions in F1 history at the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, which cost Lewis Hamilton his eighth world title. But was it really unfair? Massey, who came into the position of race director in 2019, has recently come under fire when he altered the safety car procedure in December's Abu Dhabi finale to set up a controversial, but one for the ages, last lap showdown between title rivals Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. Verstappen became the beneficiary of what would have otherwise been a routine victory for Hamilton, as the Dutchman benefited from the alteration of the rule with a fresher set of tyres coming to the last lap of the race. As a result, Massey took a lot of heat from the public and the drivers themselves, and more importantly, from the diehard fans of the Mercedes team and their superstar Lewis Hamilton. Right after the race, Mercedes and Hamilton decided to appeal against Verstappen's win, and upon their failure to do so, chose to protest further in silence, which added more gasoline to the Massey flame. So it isn't surprising to see Massey being removed, given that something had to be done to save the sport from losing its fans and tarnishing its name with their most popular driver, who was allegedly robbed of his eighth title. And to add more gasoline on the burning house that is Massey's position in the FIA, Radio recordings are now coming out serving as proof that Massey decided to make the alteration to the rule after being on a call with Red Bull's Jonathan Wheatley, who is heard urging Massey to let the lapped cars in between Verstappen and Hamilton lap the safety car. But what do the other drivers have to say? After the fiasco at Abu Dhabi, the other drivers on the grid were just as surprised at how things transpired, with them admitting themselves that they were confused by the altering rules and admitted that they're starting to lose confidence in Massey and the FIA. Fan favourite Lando Norris of the McLaren team even said during an interview that it was obviously made to be a fight, it was for the TV and entertainment of course, it was for the result, whether or not it was fair is not up for me to decide. With all of the pressure from the fans and the drivers themselves, the FIA finally folded and sacked Massey. After hearing the news, Ferrari's Charles Leclerc had this to say, I have a lot of respect for Michael for what he has done, he had a difficult job, especially in Abu Dhabi. Whatever happened, it was always going to be a controversial decision. But the FIA has made its decision and has a lot more info than we do and I fully trust it's the right decision. With Massey now gone, the role of race director will go to Eduardo Fritas and Niels Witte. Both are experienced within their own right, as the former did a similar role at the World Endurance Championships, while the latter at the DTM German Tour Race Championships, with Herbie Blasch overseeing their moves as senior advisor. But that's not all. With the proof of Massey and Red Bull's Wheatley's conversation, before the controversial ruling coming out, the FIA are now in talks of banning conversations between team principals and the race director during races. The FIA has also implemented a virtual race control room, similar to the likes of VAR and football, to assist the new race directors in making accurate decisions. While there were allegations during the off-season that the FIA had struck a deal with Mercedes, bargaining that they would make sure that Massey and FIA head of single-seater technical matters Nicholas Tombassi would no longer be in their positions for the 22 season, Mercedes has denied all allegations regarding the matter. As for Hamilton, the face and superstar of the sport decided to go dark and stayed out of the limelight for most of the off-season, making the fans think that he would be retiring from Formula 1 given what happened in Abu Dhabi. But after a relatively long hiatus, Hamilton announced on Instagram on February 6th that he's now back. He's set to start the new season with new teammate George Russell and will be in his 10th year racing for the Silver Arrows, who have also just unveiled their car for the 22 season. With Lewis's timing, it isn't hard to notice that he's feeling quite giddy and vindicated with Massey's firing. And with that, leave a comment down below on what you think about Michael Massey's firing and subscribe to DRS Zone for daily F1 content.